hi welcome back to my channel if we haven't met before my name is Kiri and I am the owner and operator of Dew and Bloom Flower Farm here in Western Washington in zone 8a this is my first year growing and selling cup flowers and I'm taking you along from the very beginning all the way to forever <laughs> So most flower farmers sell at farmer's markets or through CSAs, but me, I'm different. I like to put all of my eggs in one basket. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm only going to sell at a roadside stand. Yeah, I'm living dangerously. So I live on a super busy road. It's actually technically a highway, so I get four to five cars a minute driving by my house. But I've got one problem. I don't have a stand. So I'm going to solve that problem and I'm gonna take you along with me. Dun dun. Done. This is it. So the structure will not be permanent. It will have wheels so that I can move it around as I need to. And I'm going to wall off the upper section that I will keep the flowers in. And for the measurements, it is going to be five feet wide, three feet deep, and then the tabletop where the flowers will be will be countertop height at 36 inches. And then the height of the roof will be about 88 inches. So basically it's about the height of like a door. I want it to look like it's just an extension of our house. Just a cute little stand, matchy matchy, just really intentional design. So let's talk budget. I plan to spend $300 on this stand, but given how everything's going with like the supply chain issues and wood shortages and all of this, hopefully I can stay close to the budget but you'll have to stick around till the end to see how much I end up spending. Just a reminder, if you want to see more content like this, feel free to hit that like button, and if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe. All right, enough chit chat, let's get building. So I am outside in my carport, and we've got our framework here, so that's pretty cool. It's looking pretty good, so we've got four by fours on the outside for the main supports, and then two by fours all around, and then you can see that the roof is sloping down. So we got these swivel casters for the bottom, and uh, it's really cool because they made the freaking plate too big for the four by four. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to figure that out, but we're working on that, I think it'll work out. So we went to buy some siding panels that were 4 by 8 and they were like $85 a sheet and so we decided to skip that because I didn't want to spend $400 on siding. We're using salvaged pallets to make the siding and hopefully it will match the siding on our house. So we are just working on processing those pieces so that we can put it all together. ready for hammering. So here maybe you can see there's some nail heads here but they're still in there and we want to get rid of them so I'm just hammering them out and then using this little nail thing and knock them out. There you go, no nails. And then here's our bucket of little nail heads. Oh, 
following that nice siding montage. I already went through and wood filled all of the holes from the leftover nails that were in the pallets and now I'm just going to use some silicone to seal all the gaps in between the siding. So here we are painted and roofed and the final thing that we need to do is the tabletop and I have been thinking about this for so long. So I want to be able to sell some mason jar arrangements but I also want to just sell out of buckets. So of course the simplest thing would be to just do a flat tabletop that's solid and you just put the buckets on top or the jars on top. But I don't want to do that because then you can't see the buckets in the back. I've been brainstorming a lot and my husband and I, I think we've got it figured out. about whether I wanted to paint this the same color as the walls or stain it. So I'm going to try staining it. We'll see how it goes. Alright, here's the dark cherry stain and I'm not loving it so I think I'm just going to paint it. So I guess you'll see that in the reveal. going for is kind of like black and white which is kind of my jam <laughs> so that's why we went so dark on the inside and I also like it because it's it acts like a stage for the flowers so you can see just the bright contrast of these colors and I think it'll really pop from the road the other thing for the outside we wanted it to match our house and it totally does I found this bulletin board and chalkboard at Goodwill for about four bucks a piece. And then I also found these vintage Scirocco pieces as well. And I just like the metallic look. I think it looks very fancy. So the solution for the tabletop was to have two tiers so that we can layer and you can still see all of the bouquets. So not only can I do mason jar bouquets if I want to, I can also stack up flower buckets too so it's really awesome I can fit quite a few buckets in here so I like this setup because it's really flexible originally we were thinking about cutting holes out for the buckets to set into um, but I'm glad we decided not to do that because this is a lot more structurally sound and much more flexible so on the signage here I think I'll change this out each day to talk about what the bouquets are 
and then there's information on how to order so I will be taking cash in the drop box here or people can pay electronically by scanning the QR code. I also have a ring doorbell here and I want to give full credit where it's due. So I found this on Pinterest from Green Willow Homestead and she has that at her honesty box and she says it works out really well. It's pretty cool actually. So there's a motion sensing here so when somebody walks up I get a notification on my phone and if anybody needs any help they can just call me <laughs> and then I get to answer it on my phone. So I'm not quite ready to open up the stand yet. I think I will in the next couple of weeks, which is really awesome. I was thinking it would be around Easter weekend, but it might be a little bit sooner because my tulips are definitely getting very close to blooming. So once I have enough bouquets to officially open, I'm going to wheel this over here next to the circle garden and then have it available for people to pull in and pick up flowers as they'd like. Thanks for watching today's video. That is it. I hope you enjoyed the stand. If you did, please leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Okay. Don't you want to be cute?